Let me show y'all around the city. Show you what it's like out here in Denver. Puerto Tavedra right now. Is this like a predominantly Hispanic area? Yeah, mainly, yeah, and I'm a Hispanic. We got the Westwoods right there. West, you probably, you feel me? Crenshaw Mafia, Westwoods, you feel me? Like Crenshaw Mafia? Yeah, from uh, Inglewood, California. It's a little branch, branch out here. Oh, wow. Denver, yeah. Out East Aurora. A lot of crip gangs out here. A lot of violence out here. So, out here in Aurora, yeah. Shooting in the mall, s. Yeah, I don't have Mac a dope crack up in the motherfucking building. But uh, we're gonna take a ride through Park Hill. Don't be no pussy. Nah, you know what I mean? I'm a beat up. They hood don't get along with my hood. You see one of they homies or something, they tripping and gang banging. I'm gonna get on whatever level is wanna take it. You got homies killing homies all the time. It's pretty fucked up. My Bello from 781 Fam. They with the dummy action. Montbello got their own history. As I was saying earlier about Montbello. These are the Montbello. The ones right here. These are the Jesus. Like okay. Montbello King right here. You know what I'm saying? With a lot of Montbello cats. Somebody just got laid out. It's real dangerous, man. You gotta stay whoopy. You gotta keep your head on the swivel out here, man. Cause these little young motherfuckers get you knocking broad daylight. It's going down right now, my nigga. This is live in the proof. Of what I'm saying. Park Hill, Gilligan's Island, where we wildin'. These are the red bricks, man, the famous projects right here. A lot of shit went down through this month, man. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shout out Big Bro Macado. Macado, crack a hoe, yeah. I'm saying records man. going with it, man. Yeah, yeah. That's where we from, we from Park Hill. That thing right there, yeah. it, means, it means everything to us. It means everything to us. So this is the young life, man. You see the young homies in the, they in the building, man. They, they controlling the neighborhood, man. You know, you gotta protect them. Park Hill in a nutshell. It's Park Hill in a nutshell, man. Valley Club, the cult. Valley Club. Now I know what y'all are thinking. Jack, how in the fuck do you always manage to end up with some of the seemingly most dangerous people in every city you go to? Well, in this case, the case of Denver, Colorado, here's how it went down. The homie South Plaza kid hit me and said, Hey, bro, I need you in Denver for some music videos. I said, Hey, fuck it, you know I'm hit the road, Jack, let's go. I booked my flight and got ready to hit the Mile High City. I thought to myself, you know what, I've been doing the hood tour segment for the channel lately. And I have heard that Denver had some treacherous little cuts in its underbelly that the world might just want to know about. So I tapped in with Mile High Minute, the biggest music media platform in Denver, and told them to point me in the right direction. And they said I had to hit the legend Park Hill neighborhood, which was home to my guy Makado of Upset Records, a real reputable stand-up guy in that section. And it just so happened that my guy Phoenix35 from the 35th and Dunlap Hood Tour also spent some time in Denver as a child and told me to tap in with TYG Active, who was an up-and-coming rapper from the West Ridge neighborhood, which just so happened to be connected to the Park Hill neighborhood, which both just so happened to be connected to a little section you might have heard of in California by the name of the Crenshaw Mafia, whom come from the bottoms of Inglewood. Think niggas out here playing? I kill Crip for breakfast. OG two tone. Crenshaw mine. Let's just say these guys were no motherfucking joke. So with the dots connected, I hopped on the flight to the Mile High City, home of the Rocky Mountains, to show y'all the underbelly, or the flip side, if you will, to the seemingly perfect city, aka the West Ridge and Park Hill sections of Denver, Colorado. This is the west side, right? Kind of, yeah. The projects are done that way a little more. Okay, cool. TYG active, we're on the west side of Denver, you feel me? Let me show you all around the city, you feel me? Show you what it's like out here in Denver, you feel me? Point up to federal right now, you feel me? This should be, you see a whole bunch of violence over here, a whole bunch of bullshit. On federal street? Me? Yeah, a lot of, lot of, a whole bunch of drama and shit, you feel me? It's one of the main streets out here in Denver. Right down like on uh, 10th and federal, that's where we be, right, right there by Knox, and shit, project. Okay. Past federal. Towards East Walmart, there's other projects, the Sun Valley, you feel me? Down here is lower, more south of uh, South Denver. Okay. So we, we, we're gonna head up by West right now. So this is like Southwest Denver? Yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. West Denver is kind of like some of the last of the, where they're pushing out all the, you know, public housing people. Yeah, yeah, like that. yeah. They're pretty accurate. They're knocking most of them down. There's only like two projects left out here in Denver. Like three projects left, matter of fact, out here in Denver, so. That's crazy. Eventually they're often to be gone. Where's everybody kind of migrating or moving? Yeah, I don't even know. To be honest, they're uh, remodeling them and making them nicer, so I think people are going back into those. But... Oh, they'll go back eventually? Yeah. Okay. So there used to be truck meets on every yeah. side of the road. Yeah. How, how often? Like every Sunday. Every, every week. Every week, yeah. They shut it down because too much what? Too much gun violence and shit, you feel me? People running to their ops and getting smoked and shit. So too much bullshit. Too much bullshit. Yeah. They're trying to change the city, but that shit ain't working, bro. <laughs> it ain't working, nah, you don't think? same shit. Really? Same shit. I kind of feel like the same is yeah. happening with Phoenix. Yeah. yeah. I heard it gets popping out there too. Oh, hell yeah. It gets popping out right here. I'll be that for you. Yeah, yeah I don't let my nigga diss, you feel me? Bro. Right here, this whole, this whole thing was blocked off. 
It was, from, it was from one of them truck meets. Really? Yeah. Did it happen at night or bro? Yeah, it was, it was okay, nighttime, cool. yeah. Truck for everywhere, everyone was out, bro. It was deep, everyone was walking across, it was, it was popping. Feel me? So yeah, a lot of my nigga did start, you feel me? Is this like a predominantly Hispanic area? Would you yeah, say? mainly, yeah, now we're Hispanic. We got the Westwoods right there, it's another neighborhood. But they're trying to just gentrify uh, basically every everywhere. Right. So eventually all this is gonna be all preppy. And like when we post to the project, you're gonna see nice houses. It's just built next to a project, you feel me? Shit like that, so. Right. Yeah, the only supposed to be, be with me right here, but them niggas in jail right now. Okay. Free my free active, free face, free my for me, free TCG. Freedom, freedom. Yeah. I'll be coming up on 10th and uh, Federal right now. That's your section? Yeah, to the left. Got the light rail station, this Knox station right here. We on Knox now. Like you see these nice ass crews right here. Yeah. And then we can here. Yeah. Checks. <laughs> yeah, it's the Westridge project right here. What are they spell Westwood? Westridge. 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 And that's the block right here, 13 to 5. We're all started shit. Through the streets, being a badass kid, you feel me doing some damn. But yeah, this the hood right so here. So you're tied in with Crenshaw Mafia? Yeah, from uh, Inglewood, California. It's a little branch, from the branch out here. Oh, wow. Denver, yeah. Sick. Shout out my niggas out there. My niggas scrams. Everybody, you feel me? Yeah. Supposed to be deep right now, but my yeah. is feel me all locked up right now. So yeah. niggas yeah. going yeah. through some, you feel me? But I'm the only out here pushing this. She's pushing lines right now, you feel me? Doing my business. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. yeah. yeah, the homies merch too, no rats allowed. Back. Hard. 13 to Knox. Shit, it's a whole bunch of bullshit, bro. Literally every day is the same different. You feel me? Just you know, regular hood lifestyle, same bullshit. Growing up, not having the damn thing. Had to get up and go get it for yourself. You feel me? So, shit. So your OGs are all from Crenshaw Mafia. Yeah, yeah. That's where we all from. This the hood right here. That's they eventually gonna knock this one down too. Yeah, eventually, shit. What about? Oh, yeah. So it was like two, three years ago, my high minute pulled up in the hood. You feel me? I saw my first music video walk up actually in this house right here in the front. YouTube took it down through copywriting reasons, but anyways, my high minute seen that uh seen that uh video on Facebook. It had like 100,000 views in like a week. None but really just hate, no no support, none, not whatsoever, none but hate. Not a bunch of bullshit. Feel me? So he pulled up, came talk to me about it, and then shit. That's when niggas got a little low-key little name, you feel me? That's crazy. My, my first song was like this ass, and then I started dropping consistently. Like, okay, we see this nigga, feel me? So yeah, like three years ago, exactly right here, we did that interview. Shout out to that nigga. Whole city was hating. Like a mob, hell of hating. Hating. <laughs> Even other, no cap, other cities was hating like a too. <laughs> All cause uh, I said some in my song, it was like uh. I was like, I said I'm 15 with a kid on the way or some shit in my song. Uh -huh. And that was the main lyric that they used against me, like in them comments, like, he's 15, had with a baby, da 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 da, da like a whole bunch of uh -huh. shit. Feel me? In the video, we're all strapped up with the homies, you know? uh, okay. We're young as shit, feel me? We're like 14, 15 little niggas. Right. Feel me? And shit, niggas let it hate for a reason. Niggas always got something to talk about, but that yeah. don't, that shit don't fit me at all. No. That was like three years ago. Inglewood or Westerners to park here, you feel me? You know, you, know, you know the deal. I know the deal. Hey, what's up, Macadol? Hey, man. I'm with Active right now in West, West Ridge. Ridge yeah. yeah. Well, I'm, uh, you meet me right now? Yeah. You, did you Did you want to link up still? We could go over there. Yeah. You want to link at Park Hill? Uh, I'll have you just come, come to where I'm at and then we can just move around. Okay, cool. Legendary street. Like for real, for real. A whole bunch of bullshit be on this motherfucking street, bro. You see crackheads fold two in the morning. Any time of the day, they out here. That's the new drug. That everyone. Fentanyl. Got family members on that. Shit. They got a lot of people on that. Shit. Cool head on. Jesus Christ. The Platte River right there. Call my, call my first case right there. Right there on the river. Yeah. Trying to rob someone, bro. Caught me running. Really? I was running on the bike path. First case over yeah. there. 14 years old for me. That's crazy. Did some damn shit. Got caught up. Paid my dues for it, but <laughs> shit. I had to. Yeah, had to go through a lot of bullshit going there, bro. I just turned 18. Give me some. 18? Yeah. Holy. Yeah. Yeah, you're still a kid. So I'm doing way better right now. Good. Man. 
I like Denver overall. I mean, it's cool, bro. I f the city and shit. Feel me like the mountains and all this. Like the weather's cool, but like the people out here, are like, like this nigga right here. <laughs> See, like like that, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect timing. You feel me? Like that's how much are, are, bro. That bugging, no cap. It's a different breed out here. Yeah. Niggas ain't normal. Bro, I hate people out here. The drivers, bro. This nigga ain't let me in. The drivers, bro. Everyone, like everything. Just, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to just move out of this. Shit. I'm trying to play Arizona for sure, bro. I want to move out there. Yeah, come on, man. You know, that's nice. Get this shit in here. Made it out east. Yeah. Out east of the world. A lot of Crip gangs out here. Really? Yeah. Mostly like the Crips and shit hang out? It's supposed to be all the black folks, you see, you feel me? Really? Yeah. In man. Aurora? Mainly out here in Aurora, yeah, these side. A lot of violence out here. Mm hmm. So, out here in Aurora, yeah. Shit popping. Had a shoot, they have shooting, they have shooting in the mall, shit. Like that. Yeah, I don't know, baby, what? Come on, come on. Yeah. Did an interview in here with this nigga? Uh -huh. <laughs> Yo, 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 yo. Macado cracker hole in the motherfucking building. You already know what it is, man. I go by the name Macado. I got my son with me. FL, Mop. FL in this motherfucker. I got a little, little Brody with me. Then I'm going to take you on the ride with my guys and shit through the section where, you know, nigga was born and raised, grew up, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Mark Hill, Gilly Gonzalez, Wiley. And, uh, you know, we're going to tap in to my little nephew right here. You know what I'm saying? My brother YG, if you listen to my music, I rep him highly. You know what I'm saying? Highly hate I rep him all the time. You know, he passed away a couple of years ago. This is son. Uh, talk to him. Tell him what's up with you. Music coming soon, nigga. Future millionaire, nigga. I'm bad, nigga. You already know. You know what I'm saying? That's little nephew. Uh, he looks just like his daddy, as you can see, man. We missed the green eye bandit. That's what we used to call him, you know what I'm saying? Young Ryder, YG, Green Eyed Bandit. But uh, we're gonna take a ride through Park Hill. Just stay tuned, man. Whoop. Okay, look. Uh, it's music. You know what it is, man. The life with Macado for a little bit, man. I'm gonna take y'all on a little trip, you know. No applesauce to a boss, bananas to a gorilla, man. About 20 minutes away from Park Hill. This is Aurora, Colorado. I got a, a lot of rural cats. You know, my nigga Nike, Nitty, L. Key, Drew Locks. He don't rap no more. A lot of rural cats. You know, I f with a lot of rural cats, man. I'm basically, I'm, I'm, I'm a native, man. I, I grew up everywhere, pretty much. But my section is Park Hill. And I was born in, like, Glowville. Went from Glowville to Park Hill. Grew up in Park Hill. I'm Lakewood. You know what I'm saying? Out there by West Ridge, where the little homies is at. I met a lot of SA homies. You know, a lot of SA homies show love. You know, my brother, you know what I'm saying? OG Big K Mac. Show the nigga the ropes, show the nigga the gang. You know what I mean? About this this lifestyle we live now. It was a blessing to learn that kind of shit, man. It was necessary to, uh, you know, be on your shit. Don't be no pussy. Uh, you know what I mean? So. So if you were looking at Denver on a map, where is Park Hill? Geographically, northeast. They say it's more east, but we sit like down there in the center. But we the west, but it's more east. East side section is all like downtown, downtown Denver, and all that kind of shit. And there's a borderline between Park Hill and the east side. Okay. And it's that's Colorado Boulevard, the boulevard. We call it the boulevard. Back in the day, it's really east, but but we ain't east side. And we ain't the east side, man. You know, and I got a lot of east side partner, a lot of east side family. Shout out to some east side cats, you know what I'm saying? The real ones that I know and I f with. Shout out to y'all. Even though, you know, the east side, east side and Park Hill, you know, is really rivals. You know what I'm saying? Really to this day, too. I don't f with a lot of east side cats. They don't f with us. It's basically self explanatory. It's gang related, gang politics that's that's just how it is but a lot of a lot of niggas is family a lot of niggas is related so it's kind of you know, my cousins is cribs i'm a beat off and we 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 f around together all the time and then you know they hood don't get along with my hood and we don't get along with they hood so 
but when it comes to family, that shit's out the window. It don't even matter. You know, fucking politics. Right. But like, we see one of they homies or something, they tripping and gangbanging, nigga. We, I'm, I'm gonna get on them. You know what I'm saying? We gonna get busy, however you wanna, whatever level niggas wanna take it. But right now, we, you know what I'm saying? Trying to get money, man, on both sides. Trying to put this music together, get this music going real heavy. But the niggas that I fuck with, that's from the other side, we all on the same page. But they homies might not be. My Some of my homies might not be either. You know what I'm saying? Right. But, you know, some of my niggas, I, niggas I don't, some of the niggas from my hood, I don't fuck with. You know what I'm saying? And niggas know it. You know that vibe. I love the hood. I love my niggas. I love the homies. But, you know, it's just, you know, we got a lot of snakes in the grass. We got a lot of motherfuckers that perpetrate that, that, that stab you in your back. You know what I'm saying? That, that it might even kill you. You know what I'm saying? Real shit. Like, I lost a lot of homies, like about 75%. My homies went down because of in-home violence. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty fucked up, you know? You got homies killing homies all the time, man. That's why I just dropped a new single called Friendly Fire. My nigga Sauce Babone from my Bello from 781 Fam. They with the dummy action, you know what I mean? They went really with the dummy action. Bellows, I, I keep, hearing, Bello. that I keep yeah. hearing that name too. What is that about? My Bello got their own history, you know what I'm saying? My Bello got their own section, like a royal. You got a royal that got their own history where we at now with a lot of royal cats. Then you got uh, East Denver, which is Montbello, like, uh, you know what I mean? They got their own section. I fuck with a lot of Montbello cats, you know, I can name a few, like Lil Ike, Young Doe, Analyzer, my little nigga G Rilla, my nigga Sauce, you know what I'm saying? You know, they got their own history in Montbello. And the East Side, you know, the East Side, then you got Lakewood, then you got North Side, you know what I'm saying? As far as, as far as y'all's history, in terms of Park Hill, uh, was that always kind of a predominantly black neighborhood or is it kind of mixed up, melting pot? Like uh, it was mostly, it's all black pretty much. Really? I mean, it's mixed now because, you know, poverty and, and, and motherfuckers try to, they trying to push niggas out the hood. That's what they did to the east side. They changed the whole east side. The east side ain't really the east side like that no more. It's called like the Rhino District where, man, you got, you got white motherfuckers walking their dogs. Like in the in the hoods, man, ain't no white money. You ain't gonna never back in the day, nigga. 90s, 80s, all that shit, all the way till 2000s and up. You never seen no what motherfucker walking a dog down the street. You know, motherfucker walking the dog, you might get ran off, get your dog took, get your pockets checked, all that kind of shit. You know, but now down there on the east side, like they didn't move niggas out of there. You know what I'm saying? The gangs out of there, they didn't push them off. Now everybody's moving to Aurora. Towards my bello, you pushing all these gangs back. That's why so many motherfucking killings going on with these kids and these young motherfuckers going on. Cause you know they pushing everybody out their sections. They ain't came to Park Hill. They want to do it, but man, we got so many strong motherfucking black people. So many strong that's not selling. So many people that standing ten on Park Hill. Like we're not selling shit. We're not moving out of our neighborhoods. You ain't pushing us out. So our neighborhood is still our neighborhood. They say like Denver's a baby LA or whatever, but we ain't LA. You know, LA is LA. They got their own gang politics, they own shit. LA's huge as fuck. That's gang land. You know what I mean? They say this is like baby ditch, uh, baby LA just because like the swag, people swag. You know what I'm saying? The music that comes out of Denver. It's more West Coast region. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That so kind comes of out of Denver slightly that influenced do. by the West Coast. Huh? Slightly influenced by the West exactly. Coast. Exactly. Okay. Very, very much. Very okay. much. We Denver, baby. Denver. All the way natives, nigga. Yeah, Denver first. You know what I mean? Oh, matter of fact, get this. Somebody just got shot. Just now, we just got work. Somebody just got shot right here. As you can see, the police. The police is uh got this all blocked off on Dayton up, up, the, up the way. Somebody just, they was pumping on somebody, somebody just got laid out. Somebody gets shot every day, my nigga, and it's real shit, like, right? it goes down in the town, man. It's real dangerous, man. You gotta stay whoopty. You gotta keep your head on the swivel out here, man, because, man, niggas, these little young motherfuckers get you, get to you real fast. Somebody got shot up there, right up there by the gas station. Um, broad daylight, man. Broad daylight. Any, any, given, any given Saturday, nigga. Any day, nigga, you can get knocked down, nigga, in broad daylight. Niggas don't care about what time it is, where you at, what's going on, nigga. Niggas is getting popped. 
Oh, there's the car right there. Look, they got the car right there and it's taped off. And this is a royal, man. A royal, that's what I was just talking about. They pushing everybody back to a royal, all these gangs and shit back to a royal. And look what's happening. Niggas getting knocked in broad daylight, bro. It's going down right now, my nigga. Somebody's parked. And I hope it ain't one of my homies. Or I pray to God it's not, but as you can see, somebody got stretched right there. So, this shit real, man. It's live. This is live in the proof, nigga, what I'm saying. Just, nigga, we just riding through the town, and this is what you see. You know what I mean? You see that kind of shit, man. Broad daylight, man. It ain't nothing to glorify, man. This shit is real. The Park Hill is very dangerous, man. Everywhere is very dangerous, but Park Hill is very dangerous. A dangerous place to be. For my that ain't never been here, they be like, oh, y'all out there riding horses and, and planting hay and... and <laughs> Farms and barns and shit. nah, it ain't like that, man. It's really dangerous here, man. You know what I'm saying? Don't get me wrong, Colorado is a very good. It's a lot of money here. This is 11th and Quebec. We on 11th and Quebec going towards. We're gonna go north. Going to, uh, Coming up on Colfax. This is the facts. This is where you can see everything, man. It's like Vegas Strip. You see all the hookers, dope fiends. Niggas out here grinding, car shows, squabbles, killings, whatever, man. You see everything on the facts, man. All the way from Broadway, all the way down to, to Chambers. It's pop. And that used to be a Conoco, man. That was a famous Conoco, man. And we used to go down, they closed it down. Niggas got robbed a lot. Motherfucker died right here. Niggas got parked. We had a... Uh, Thing called summer violence. It was like more in the 90s, 96, 97, 94, all through that area. Uh, it was gang banging was really bad, man. There's a lot of killings, a lot of murders, a lot of people died through years. You got a lot of big homies. I ain't gonna say niggas' names, you know what I'm saying? That came from Cali, created a lot of movement, you know what I'm saying? A lot of my big homies, and I love them to death. And some is here, some ain't. They started a big movement, man. Yes, our hood is originated from California, the bottoms, Inglewood, you know what I'm saying? And I go out there, I visit the homies, I f with the homies, shout out to my little nigga Scramps, Big Taco, T-World, I love all them niggas, E-Rock, gang of homies out there, Big OG, Big Mumbles, shout out to OG, Big Mumbles. You know, they been back and forth, man, they orchestrated this shit, man, and put this shit where it's at, man, and we Park Hill, Crenshaw Mafia, you know what I'm saying? We part, I'm from all of them, though. I'm from Inglewood, here, nigga. I'm from Baltimore, nigga. We got niggas from everywhere, bro. Uh, that bang the set down from West Ridge, all that shit. You know what I mean? West Ridge, Crenshaw Mafia, Park Hill, Crenshaw Mafia. You got, you got Karma City, uh, Crenshaw Mafia. So now we in Park Hill, man. Officially. This is beautiful. We in Park Hill. We just crossed over 23rd Quebec. Quebec Park. We have a lot of uh, like B O Y Z's. Them is the big homies that that started the boys. They call B O Y Z. Them is the O O triple O G homies. And then, then you got Crenshaw Mafia and shit. The B O Y Z's. Um, this is Quebec Park. It goes down at this park, man. We didn't have a lot of quote sessions right here. We didn't beat niggas up right here. We didn't have shootouts right here. Now we we finna pull up to the heart. Killer King is Killer King. We call it Killer King. Because my nigga, you can get parked right here. You can get parked on Killer King, man. It's a dangerous, dangerous street, dangerous intersection. Like, you can die right here. I, a lot of niggas done died on Killer King. You know what I mean? I used to live, man, my homie, right here on, on Killer King and uh, Pontiac. And I used to live on the corner house. Nigga, my house got hit up. And my little homie died. Kill my little nigga, you know what I'm saying? I'm about to show you. I'll show you right now the bullet. I bet you the bullet hole still in the uh in the fucking building and shit right here. That one right there. Let me pull over real quick. 3205 Pontiac. Yeah, there, there's probably there's a couple bullet holes that that's that's over there. I don't know who live there now, so I ain't gonna just walk up on that shit. But my shit niggas prepped from the side and hit my nigga right here on the front porch. You know what I'm saying? It was active then. This was 2015 when that went down. You know what I'm saying? Rest in peace to my nigga Lil Big. This is where it was at, man. And then you got the old block, which we call it Oneida. I'm gonna bend the block real quick. We used to always be over here, you know what I mean? And the nigga right here on the block, me, Liz, we, we used to quote niggas, my nigga Dad's dog, we 
used to live right here in this top one right here in the back in the backyard. We used to quote niggas in the back right here at this house right here. Yeah, that was the hood house right back there. That was the hood house. For people who don't know, what does a quote mean? And it's a put on. You put on a gang, man, and you rep that until you blood in, blood out, my nigga. That's that's all and that's it. Oneida block, we got Oneida block. Look to your right, there's another park over there, and that's Killer King Park. That's Martin Luther King Park. That's where we used to all go down right there, man. We had meetings there before. All kind of shit. We don't do that shit now, you know what I'm saying? Niggas come to meetings wired up, feds everywhere. We have a meeting that's on some family shit. You know what I mean? We don't do all that extra extracurricular activity bullshit. So now we on Monaco. Let's take you all the way on to south. You know what I'm saying? These are the neighborhoods. So now we're going into the heart. Park Hill, man, this is the heart of it. A lot of history. J Block, Jasmine Block. I used to stay on 29th and Jasmine. I'm gonna take you through there where I used to live in the little projects over there. This is this is Skyland Park. This is our other park. This is where the rec center is at. This is where, man, they're doing a mural uh, for Chauncey Billups. They're uh, for the basketball court. They, as you can see, they got it blocked off over there because they're painting his mural. He's, he's the king of the hills, man. So, you know, uh, much love to Chauncey Billups. Thank you for repping us, man. Repping Park Hill, man. He grew up in Park Hill. He's a native. He's originally he's originated from right here, Park Hill, where we from. He's from here. You know what I'm saying? And the nigga went NBA. He's a superstar, my nigga. So, but he's a good dude. He be out here fucking with us, chilling with us, all kind of. Shit. This right here is the Holly. This is where. Soul food right here, blazing chicken. You got the boxing right here. You got all the Mississippi place food place right here. You got the biker club right here, my nigga. You get everything. You got the store right here. You know what I'm saying? You got OGs out here. You know what I'm saying? They just hanging out, my nigga, and enjoying life, man. We gonna take a trip. We gonna take a trip in this month. It's been around since the 60s, since the 50s. So this is the young life, man. You see the young homies in the they in the building, man. They, they patrol in the neighborhood, man. You know, you gotta protect your neighborhood where you from, you know? The young life is in the building, man. They everywhere, man. They stupid, they dumb, they old. Man, let's go inside real quick. Check it out. You know? OG. This is they This is my song, man. Hey, what's up? What's up? You got something to say? You want to say on my documentary? Uh, a little bit of history about Park Hill and the, and the section and shit. Yourself as well. Uh, talk to him. Well, my grandma. If grandpa owned this block, we like to keep the peace over here. It's a, it's a family thing over here. So your family kind of owns all these buildings? All of them. All of them. All of them. The whole block. The whole block. My name is Pat Holloway, native of Dallas, Colorado, Park Hill. Been working at the Horizon for about 16 years now. This, this building been here forever. My father used to come here. It's kind of historic. I think it's a staple of the Park Hill neighborhood. We're here to represent. Appreciate you. Know, love you. Love you. you know what I mean? These OGs, man, I get it from them, man. I do it for them. You know what I mean? What y'all about to do? What y'all want? Okay. Okay. Edo 207 I'ma take you to the bridge to the projects part. Project part. It's called the bridge. It's the red bricks. A lot of, lot of history over there. Oh, major history. I'ma show you everything you need to know. This is a black community, man. A lot of people been living in these motherfuckers houses for many moons my nigga ain't never moved nigga been living here forever my nigga real park hill natives man He's, that's why you gotta you gotta respect and love the elderly people that live here man and, right. and protect them because this is what they know this is what they stand on man some hate us some love us but <laughs> we all we all who we are man as a, as a whole community these are the red bricks man the famous projects right here a lot of 
went down through this motherfucker, man. And you can get parked right here on this street, too. You know what I mean? Everybody done lived in these motherfuckers, man. This is the red bricks all through here, man. This is where it's at, my nigga. Started here, nigga. We come and hang out all right here in the parking lot. So what's in front of us, we call it the top of the hill. It's the hill right here. Now we are out here in the front, summertime, we cracking. A lot of niggas got shot right here. Niggas had shootouts right here at the top of this motherfucker. Now they put cameras up on the light poles and shit where they watch it. Niggas used to have spots right here. Niggas did they, did they whoopty right here, man. All through this motherfucker, you know what I'm saying? This is Cherry Park. This is another park that we be at. But in front of us is the borderline between the east side and Park Hill. So that's up there, you cross that light, and you go on the east, to the east side where the Crips and shit. Yeah. Okay, okay. So, I was wondering where the big crib hoods were. And shit. Yeah, they all down that way, so, okay. you know. But this is uh, Cherry Park, you know, they'll come through, slide through here, nigga. Have a shootout or something, niggas hop out, get the squab and shit like that. But as you can see, people's barbecuing, man. This is what we do, this is history, man. This is, now it's quiet, you know, it's quiet, and that's good, it's quiet right now, you know what I'm saying? This is uh, OG's is out, you know, and they they living, doing their thing, man. We on the Dahlia right now, where we just came from the projects over here. This is the Park Hill uh, Barbershop right there. The liquor store, the famous Fairfax liquor store right here. Just to all hang out right here. Slide down here to the J Block. Jasmine, 29th and Jasmine, my nigga. 28, 29, between 28th to 29th, man, the project Jasmine, man. Used to go the fuck down. This is the projects. This is Jasmine, man. This is where it went down to, right here, man. All through the alleys. I'm gonna show you where I used to stay, where my son, where I raised my son, and then, man, uh, right here. This is called the J Block. The big homie Billy Mac, Billy Mac, uh, VIP, used to live over there in the White House over there. I'm gonna take you to the alley. Man, I used to live right here, man. This is the famous J Block uh, projects right here. Oh, there you go. What's up, big bro? What's up? Right. You got my nigga Cardizzi, man. Right. You know, a, a legendary type nigga in the building. As far as this park here, like nigga. And niggas stand on that motherfucker kind of, we, we put that motherfucker for a lot of shit. You feel what I'm saying? It's been times when we didn't have shit, you know what I'm saying? That's all we had, you know what I'm saying? It's it just, you know, you mean, a nigga be in the penitentiary without nothing. Just you and your niggas, you and your park here niggas, you know what I'm saying? Right. To put that shit on your back and rock with that shit. So that shit really means a lot to, you know what I'm saying? A lot of niggas, you know what I mean? Right. Right. Solid community. Solid it's a lot of good shit going on. It's a lot of good shit going on in this month too, though. So I got a clothing store on uh, 29th and Fairfax. So nice. I just be doing pop-ups, all the little neighborhood pop-ups and shit like that. I just make sure, you know, what I'm saying my face is at that month. What's your clothing shop and stuff? Uh, my clothing, my, my clothing store is called. It's K-Tone over it's there. It's called the yeah, K-Tone over, over there too. Shit, we do that, man. That's it. We do that. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah, because I was wiggling and shit. Really <laughs> <doing that. laughs> Cause I, that car that drove by kind of shook know, a nigga up. You know, that car nigga, that nigga was looking weird when he drove I, up. That's why I said you gotta be on a swivel you know everywhere. When Red drove by, it kind of looked like and that threw my. You gotta, you gotta be on a swivel, swivel nigga. I feel it. Cause that nigga was looking between his glasses. I was like, yeah. But um, the Fairfax clothing store located on 29th and Fairfax, 80207 in the heart of Park Hill. The Instagram, the Fairfax, Hard Easy NHC. Check me on Instagram. All right, I'll be okay. Sliding up there. What's up, y'all? What's up, buddy? What's up, buddy? You ain't having nothing else to park here. See, these, 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 these are my fellow legends right here. You want, you want to know about my fellow? I'm doing a documentary thing. As I was saying earlier about Montbello, these are the Montbello, huh? the ones right here. These are the jeans. Right here. Okay. Off the ground. What's up, bro? Let's go. Pick up some trash. How you doing? Now, for all you social justice warriors and super woke folks out there who say I only showcase the bad side of black communities, here's something positive for y'all. As you can see here, we stopped at a local park in the hood in which the OGs and big homies from several communities and sections came together for what seemed to be a showcasing and highlighting of the youth and their creations. Everything from clothes and music to food and even a local beverage company founded by this little youngster here. I'm about to How you for doing, real? honey? Mm -hmm. So this is my partner, Young Dog's oh, daughter. And this is her brand and this is her water. So I'm going to let her explain what's going on. 
What are we doing with this? So my name is Asani, and I had a distribution deal with Exotic Pop in Houston, Texas. This is my Cool Cup. How many different flavors do you have? Um, with my sugar water, I have nine different flavors. Yum, what are they? What are some of the best ones? So the best sellers are mango, watermelon, and ocean water. Delicious. This is strawberry peach lemonade. Right, right here. Found dig it right in. Here. I'm about to dig in. Go. Found it right here in Colorado, right? Started yep. right here. Where could they get your uh, your product and find you? Well, they can get it on sugarwaterbusiness.com and my Instagram is sugarwater underscore underscore. Hey, my belly. Delicious. My nigga Young Doe, man. I learned a lot from him. What's up, buddy? How you doing? This is the legendary Montbello King right here. I can go. Oh, shit. Man, that's, that's, a, a, I can hey, though. that's a big title, man. Oh, hey, man. I appreciate I'm that, huh? We just been, we connected. It's like, you know, small urban communities. We all kind of came from all levels. We all got cousins and family and friends throughout all the little urban neighborhoods. So we just stay connected, build with each other, bounce ideas, motivate each other, start feel me, build the culture in many different ways. Entrepreneurial endeavors. Yeah, yeah, Stand at the top, all at once. Oh, Appreciate that. Love you for that. You a Park Hill? You a Park Hill vet? You gotta, you gotta talk your shit. You know what I'm saying? DJ K Tone, the best DJ in the town. Let me tell you right now. Look, we at first of all, we at the last block party of the summer. I do these block parties in Park Hill for Park Hill. You know what I mean? For for the community, for the city. We have Stedman Elementary. This, this is where we from, this man. Mac Mac and Lowe, yeah, we're yeah, a Park Hill vet. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Know, man. But this, this is what we do, man. We we, we really, we, we from here. We was raised here. And, and you know, a lot of things I do, I give back to the same community I grew up in, man. This is what I do. This is what he do. This is giving back right here. It's all for the family, kids, the elderly, us. It's for everybody. Yeah. Everybody that loves us, we love y'all. You know what I mean? And he's the best DJ in the town, so get with him. Damn. I'm gonna give him that credit because it's the truth. Right. <laughs> What's up, bro? Alright, I'll see y'all later. Love y'all, man. Good? Yeah, you too, bro. Keep him in check, nigga. Keep him in check. You know you the boss on that one. Park Hill, Gilligan's Island, where we wildin'. This shit is so good, man. Y'all gotta get with the young princess right there, man. She. She on her business, young on her business, man. You gotta teach them young. So we back on Killer King, Martin Luther King Jr. Dahlia, Dahlia Square. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? Y'all ain't answering y'all phone, what are y'all doing? We waiting, A1's about to pull up. I'm about to shoot this music video. Me and Case, we shooting a video to uh, Trenches. Oh yeah? Yup. Case right there. Yup. Alright, okay. let's let play that shit, cause I need to know the lyrics, bro. I can't be able to listen to it. I know what it is. Shout out Big Bro Macado. Come on, nigga. Y'all niggas know what's going on. Macado crack a hoe, yeah. Upset that, Records man. going with it, man. Y'all yeah, niggas know what records, it is. Don't have time for all that. What's happening, nigga? Macado. Forever Macking in this motherfucker. I want you to talk to him, bro. Forever Macking, you know what I mean? That, that, that's a big thing. That's. I stand for a man that's been here for a long time. TT Mac, our big brother, you know what I mean? That's why we spring forever. Mac, he used to be up here just like this, just like us, oh, every Ace day. Capone. You know what I mean? Ace Capone, shot Ace videos, Capone. all that. That's where we from, we from Park Hill. That thing right there, yeah. it means it means everything to us. Right. It means up. everything to us. We mean everything to it. We still here, we still here. Yeah. Park Hill. Hill again. Just doing what we do. Yeah, yeah, sir. Sir. I already know what it is. So, just tell me. I didn't even know you were doing this, but you know. Oh, y'all out of video. Everything. Hey. That's my, uh, that's my calling line coming. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. That's why I just seen Cardizzi. Oh, yeah. I'm just like, I don't want to the face on my video. Everybody going up there, right? Yeah. Sure, tap in. Hey. Oh, man. What's up, OG? You already know, man. It's your boy, Macado. Crack a hoe, as they say. Gilligan's Island Park Hill. You know what I mean? Thank you guys for uh, taking a trip with me through my section, Park Hill. 
all day, every day. Uh, Y'all can find me, you know what I'm saying, on uh, Instagram, Macado 104 or uh, YouTube. Uh, Macado, you can YouTube me, nigga. I'm on my music on all music platforms. Uh, on Facebook is Macado Greenwood, and if you want to book me, you know what I'm saying number 720-436-5909, uh, and my email is macgreenwood at gmail.com. Fuck with your boy, man. I'm Wolfie. I'm out. Valley Club, the cult. Valley Club, the cult. We outside with my nigga Corey Capital.